I assume you're watching the news about the attacks going on in Israel, Feast of Tabernacles, last day, celebration, everybody's home and cozy in their bed. It's a, it's a Sabbath day, and uh, then they are attacked by Hamas. Hamas, you should know, is a proxy for Iran. Also, you ought to know that Iran is a proxy for Russia. So what here is uh, something interesting to look at. That was a trial run. That's just my opinion. That was a trial run. Uh, the Iron Dome, they, they chalked this up publicly anyway to a technical fault, a technical problem. Yet now, as it is right now, the Iron Dome is failing in Israel. The rockets are coming in, many of them, and they're not being stopped by the Iron Dome. Now, there's only two countries, um, it's being stated, that have the technology to defeat the Iron Dome, and that is the United States and Russia. So it's probably not the United States, so Russia. I don't know if we're on the precipice of Ezekiel 38, the Gog and Magog War or not, but Pray for peace in Israel. When you pray for peace in Israel, what you're praying for is you're praying for the coming of the Messiah because when he establishes his kingdom on the earth, that's when we will see peace in Israel. Before that, we will not have peace. We'll have uh, intermittent times of false peace, uh, pseudo peace and so forth, but but not yet. You'll, you will never have true peace in Israel until the Messiah establishes his kingdom. So pray for peace in Israel. You're praying for the Messiah's return. God bless.